In this video, I'll be reviewing the Sony 2.0 receiver. This is a stereo receiver. The model is STR-DH190. I got this receiver mainly to connect to it my Sony SSCS5 passive speakers. If you want to see the review of the Sony SSCS5 speakers, please take a look in the description for the link. In my review, I'm going to be covering the following aspects. I'm going to give you a quick overview about the specifications of this receiver. I'm going to also show you the inputs and how you can connect different devices to it and how many devices you can connect to it. And I'm going to also show you the controls a little bit. So let's start. I'm going to zoom in now so that you can see the receiver better. So let me start now with a quick overview of the specifications. This is a 100 watts two-channel receiver. It can support speakers from 6 to 16 ohms and it is a high resolution audio as it is defined by Sony. So let me show you now the controls of this receiver. Let me turn it on first. You see on the front of the receiver it is really very elegant and you see here that you have the on off button. So now I turn it on. Of course also it comes with a fully operational remote control so you can control all the aspects of this receiver from this remote control and as a matter of fact there are some aspects that you can control with the remote control that you cannot do on the receiver itself and these are the base and the treble settings so let's go back here to the receiver so on the front of this receiver you have many controls here let's start from left to right you have first the on off button then you have here the speakers so if you want to choose between a and b or a or b i'm gonna show you afterwards how to connect the speakers on the back of this receiver and here you have your tuning mode for the fm and then you have here your display so you can change the display from the input to the volume and then you have your dimmer so you can turn off the display or put it bright or dark and then you have your bluetooth and here at the end you have a button called pure direct this is to amplify the audio only without altering it and here you have your input selector so you can change from input 1 to input 2 input 3 4 portable as you notice here you can connect also with your 3.5 millimeter jack your device your audio device i'm gonna talk about the connections later on and this is the phono input and this is the fm tuner and this here is the volume control and all these settings you can find them also on the remote control here so let me talk now about the inputs and connections of this receiver before turning the receiver because all the inputs and connections or most of them are on the back let me show you the two inputs that are here so this here as i said before this is for your portable connection and this here if you want to use headphones you can put them here so this is the back of the receiver first here you have your fm antenna and then here you have your phono input if you want to use like a turntable you can put it here this is a preamp and an amp at the same time and this usb here is only for service so if you have like a firmware upgrade you put it here and then here you have your analog inputs one two three and the first one it also has a bypass so you can get it as input and also you can connect something like a tape recorder or something here if you want to also take the input from here and record something here and here are the speakers connections you have the a speaker and you have the B speaker so you can connect two pairs of speakers to this receiver at the same time and you can select either the A speakers 
or the B speakers or both of them at the same time if you want to hear music from the four speakers at the same time. And also for the inputs of course this receiver has a Bluetooth 5.0 input that works really well. As a summary I'm gonna say that I really like this receiver and I've been using it since about two months now with my Sony SSCS5 speakers and it is really a good match for these speakers. One thing that Sony can improve in this receiver is the FM tuning. So it has like automatic tuning and presets. So if you find stations, you can save them in the preset. It has 30 presets, but you cannot like enter the frequency of the station you want manually. There is no way to do it. So this is something that Sony should improve in my opinion. Before signing off, I wanted to show you the unboxing of this stereo receiver so now i got this stereo receiver as an open box from best buy and it came with the original packaging so this is a power cord and this is the remote control let me remove the protection so these are the packing styrofoam and this is the receiver it's pretty heavy And this is the FM antenna with the AA batteries for the remote control. And this is the user manual. Let me remove now the bag from the receiver. The receiver is heavier on the volume side than on the other side. So this is the front of the receiver. And this is the back. So these are the inputs, as I explained earlier, and these are the speaker connections, the USB service port, and so on. And let me show you now everything that comes with the receiver. So it comes the FM antenna, the batteries, the remote control, and the user manual only. So that was my review of this receiver, the stereo receiver from Sony, which is the STR-DH190. I hope you liked my review and you found it useful for you. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.